Hi, this is Hal Bratsky, and the Haftarah for Chaye Sarah is from the first book of Kings, chapter 1. King David is old and stricken in years. Abishag attended the king, but he never felt warm. And you can see that King David is slightly blue in the face. Meanwhile, Adoniah, his son, is going around Jerusalem saying, Ani am loch, I will be king. This prompted an editorial, Who will succeed David? A struggle between two factions in Jerusalem for the crown. Adoniah is the oldest surviving son of David. As such, he is by tradition justified in claiming to be the rightful heir to the throne. However, we cannot endorse him. While his father, King David, is suffering from the infirmities of old age, Adoniah goes about entertaining himself and his followers, saying he will be king. His behavior, no doubt, is related to his upbringing. Never in his life had his father rebuked him. True, he was a good-looking child, but that was no reason to forego disciplining him. Tzadok the Kohen, Natan the prophet, and Shlomo were not invited to Adonijah's festivities. This may be an ominous sign that they will be purged from the new regime. The Talmud says, Adonijah attempted to fit the crown on his head, but it would not fit him. Rashi explains that a golden rod passed through the hollow of the crown from one end to the other, and only he whom the crown fitted was deemed to be worthy to be king. But Bathsheba saved the day by convincing David to say, Your son Shlomo will rule after me. I will carry it out this day. And Bathsheba bowed low to King David and said, Yehi Adoni HaMelech David Le'olam. May my Lord, King David, live forever. Thank you for your interest, and Shabbat Shalom.